Diane Irwin, Workshop Wizards, was my business for many years in Abney, and I have discovered a fantastic new way to carve that anybody can do that doesn't cost any money. How fabulous. So that's how we make a bucket full of snow that's going to sit and harden for two hours. It's going to center. If you twist your bucket a little bit as you bring it up. Magic. <laughs> so what I've done is I've allowed the bucket of snow that I made sit for two hours to center, which means it's all going to be melding together because you, when you've compressed the snow in the bucket, you, you're breaking off the ends of the flakes, which allows it to be more compact. So it's almost like an icy quality, but still carvable. So what I'm using is just a old pottery knife. You could use a plastic knife, anything. I don't want you to use something sharp because it's snow and you could slip. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to, as you can see, I've laid out my design, which is for a, a wizard head, a wizard body, we hope. So I've laid out where I'm going to do my carving. So that's where I want to start taking it off and thin it out. And as you can see, you can take off a lot at once. And if you take off too much, you can start over. So I'm rounding as I go, and really I'm just kind of scraping off the surface of the snow, which, as I say, it's stuck together, a little bit icy feeling, but still very easy to maneuver. So what I'm going to do is go around and round it as much as I can. But I'm also going to decide where I'm going to put a face in here. So what I would do now is, from those people who've taken pumpkin carving with me will remember, a face is divided into thirds. So we're going to go one, two, and there's the bottom third of my face. So there's my face that's going to lie in here. So I'm going to do the bridge of my nose and across. Out comes the snow. Bridge my nose, across the top, out comes the snow. You can go deeper. The big thing with snow is it doesn't hold the same texture um, that a pumpkin does. So mostly you're going to be working with shadows. To create shadows, we go deeper. So when we go in deep, it looks like there's an eye way back there but it's just a shadow. <clears throat> so we're gonna come underneath the nose as well. And out of this snow, there's a face, a person starting to emerge. You can use your mitten to smooth gently where there's places you can't reach in well, or after you've made a cut, you want to smooth off the edge of it. Again, shadows, depth. So we can see something starting to emerge. Let's see about putting some arms on him. So if I've got that cut that way, I want to use my fancy scraping tool and take off a whole bunch of snow off my mitten. Hang on to it so you don't tip it over. I don't want to make him flat-headed too much. We're starting to get an arm in here. And if we come back, we can put a little beard in here. 
I'm gonna go back and measure either side. Oh, this is where an arm should go. So you can see very quickly, you can start making a character come out. It, all it takes is a little imagination. Still more to go. But that's going to show you how to get started.